What's going on, Nigla Dreamers? You got Mathers back with more Vitality Draft League Season 3. Uh, this is week one. You can see myself, Nigla Dreams, here with uh, my team, the Boston Weasels. And on the other side is Mopman and the St. Louis Suicunes. Uh As you can see, he's got some pretty threatening Pokemon. Garchomp, big, fast, uh, big hitter. Reggie Alecki, obviously the fastest Pokemon in the game now. Uh, he's got Mega Venusaur as well, which is a pretty big defensive threat. Pair that with Clefable, probably one, like the, one of the top defensive Pokemon in the game right now. And then he's got the powerful Sneasel and Vaporeon. Of course, he's got to bring Vaporeon because I've got Draco Vish. So basically with my team, the idea is to support Draco Vish. Uh, the only thing that can really switch into it is Vaporeon, and that thing actually is pretty easily... I think it's a pretty good chance to hit KO with Outrage, because I am Abandoned Adamant, which is the only set you should ever run on this thing. Uh, but <laughs> I have Glare on Sandaconda, so my plan with that is basically lead it turn one, hope that he leads Garchomp as his stealth rocker, uh, and then glare that thing turn one since it can't be thunder waved, but it can be glared uh, and that basically removes one of the best offensive checks to Dracovish. Uh, I also have Stealth Rock on that thing which will basically make the Tua KO and Vaporeon uh, a lot more uh, certain <laughs> is the right word I think uh, and plus the rocks damage helps too uh, I mean most things are going to die. <laughs> That's the thing with Dracovish. Uh, I've also got Scarf Gardevoir because it clicks buttons versus his team. Uh, it's nice speed tier because it allows speed, you know, non-Scarf Garchomp, non-Scarf Sneasel, and other things like that. It has no business even at max speed, timid, outspeeding a Regilecki, so it is actually modest. Uh, the reason I made it modest because he had a Talonflame, and I found that modest Scarf with 248 speed actually outspeeds Talonflame with, uh, without a Scarf. <laughs> Max speed, jolly Talonflame that outspeeds, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've also got Zapdos here because um, having that Volt Switch momentum to get a free switch into Dracovish is pretty nice. It also uh, tanks hits from a lot of things. Uh, it can take the grass hits from Venusaur. It can also hit Vaporeon super effectively. It might be able to tank a hit or two from Regieleki maybe, um, but it also and a Garchomp that doesn't have Stone Edge also takes on that thing. Uh, I've got Specially Defensive Incineroar for Intimidate. It has Taunt to stop the Vaporeon. Um, it also has um, U-Turn for more momentum. And then I've got Tyranitar, which is kind of like, honestly, one of the weirdest Tyranitars I've ever used. But let's just get right into it. So turn one works out pretty well for me. I do lead Sandaconda as he leads Garchomp. And I'm like, okay, this is exactly what I wanted. I want to glare. I want to cripple this thing. So that's what I do. I expect him to go for rocks, but he went for outrage instead, which is pretty crazy. But it actually makes sense in hindsight because uh, his goal is probably just to get rid of my ground type so that his Regieleki can go hard. And that makes a lot of sense. Um, but since he is locked into outrage and it didn't really do that much to my Sandaconda, I mean, it did a lot, but it is a Garchomp. Um, my Sandaconda is actually pretty free to switch into my fairy type, especially since I get leftovers recovery there too. So Gardevoir comes out, uh, obviously Outrage would not work, but he gets paralyzed anyway, so same deal. Uh, I'm pretty free to click buttons here, so I just click Psychic. Uh, the only reason that I wouldn't click Psychic is because he has a Sneasel, but I was pretty confident he wasn't going to go into Sneasel there, so Psychic was pretty free. And here I was like, okay, he's got a Wish or something, so let me see if I can just click more buttons. And I do, and he doesn't click Wish, he clicks Teleport which is probably a solid play expecting me to switch, but I did not. So now in comes the Sneasel, assuming that I am choice, which is smart. Uh, inner Focus actually blocks Intimidate, which I completely forgot about, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I take a little bit more than I wanted to from Knockoff, uh, and then the Garchomp comes out on my Knockoff, which is not great. So Incineroar is not really doing what I wanted to do here, but it is switching into the Sneasel, which is nice. I go Zapdos here, because I knocked off the Choice Scarf, so I know he's got to be some kind of offensive. Hopefully he doesn't have Stone Edge. I missed my first Hurricane, uh, but he gets paralyzed. <laughs> fair is fair. I mean, in reality, I lost a, a power point for Hurricane there. So, anyway, I land the next Hurricane, which does a heck of a lot. 
Uh, and then it turns out he does have Stone Edge, which is not great for Zapdos. Thankfully, able to land the next one, though. I did really think about it there. I thought about going Sandaconda, thought about going into, like, Tyranitar or Incineroar or something. Um, but I decided, like, no, I have a pretty good chance of landing Hurricane here. Uh, I want to keep my ground type around just so it can beat the Reggie Lucky. Um, and I ended up landing the Hurricane anyway, so worked out. Uh, so next comes this Nasal. I don't want to lose this thing again, so I go into Incineroar. Uh, unfortunately, Intimidate is blocked, but... And then he pulls out the Low Kick. I was not expecting that. Low Kick Sneasel. And, but the information that I gained from that switch was very worth it, because now I know he's banded, because uh, Low Kick does not do over half uh, unless the Sneasel is banded. So I know that's that. <laughs> I know it's definitely banded, uh, which means I am safe to go into my Gardevoir. Uh, I'm Scarf, obviously, but I don't want to take a knockoff. Um, so he decides to sack um, Clefable there. I go for a Psychic because I know he's going to switch. <laughs> There's no point in low-kicking a Gardevoir. Uh, so the Sneasel does come back in, but I have more switch-ins. I have a full health Tyranitar. And as you can see, part of the weird set here <laughs> knocks off my Shookaberry. Uh, this thing was going to be my check to Garchomp in, in like a... If I needed it, it could take on Garchomp, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but obviously, it, Garchomp is gone. I don't need it anymore, so I can afford to switch it in. Uh, get a little sand chip on the Sneasel, uh, as in comes the Vaporeon. And of course, I'm packing Thunder Wave. <laughs> because that's the idea. I want to I cripple everything so that my Dracovish can just outspeed everything and knock it out. Uh, and really cool thing about Gardevoir and Trace is that I can Trace Water Absorb and switch in on the Vaporeon, meaning that unless it's packing Toxic or something, it's not really going to do any damage to me. Uh, but he decides to double there into Venusaur. Uh, interesting. This is this was a huge moment right here. Here I was like, okay, I could click Psychic. It would probably just KO this Venusaur. But if he decides to go Sneasel here, then I'm in a bad spot. Because then he could just Low Kick or something. Uh, and it becomes kind of a prediction. Like if he knocks off and I stay in, then he knocks out my Gardevoir, maybe. And if I go into Tyranitar and he clicks Low Kick, then I lose my Tyranitar. Uh, so it was an interesting moment. Uh, if I stay in and click Moonblast, he could Sludge Bomb and kill me. Uh, so I thought about it for a little while, and what I realized is that because his Sneasel is banded, that means it's going to take Rocks damage. If I get Rocks up, that means the Vaporeon is going to have a much harder time switching into Outrage. Um, so I decide to make a risky play. I double into Sandaconda, because I'm like, if he goes for Sludge Bomb, I can take it. But he actually doubles into Vaporeon, which works out because I can outspeed this thing. I am, I have enough speed EVs to outspeed uh, even the Venusaur, so I can definitely outspeed a Paralyzed Vaporeon. Uh, and that works out pretty well for me. I get my Stealth Rock up. He could knock me out with Scald. It's definitely a possibility. Um, but he gets paralyzed. <laughs> and I know it was definitely a bit risky considering the Regilecki is still around. Um, and if I had lost my Zandaconda, even if I had gone down to like single digit percents, that would have been, you know, Regilecki could probably rapid spin knock me out. Uh, but I still have a pretty healthy Tyranitar. I have Gardevoir, which can maybe take a hit. Uh, so I was feeling like I could take the risk. And if like getting Stealth Rock up is 100% worth it. Uh, and it works out quite well for me there. I even get Leftovers back, and I don't want to stay in, so I go back into Gardevoir, uh, trace the Water Absorb, and get myself back to full health. So now I'm in a good spot. Because the cool thing here... Okay, anyway, uh, a little bit of a spoiler, but the cool thing in that situation is that I am free, uh, it makes the predictions less important. Like before I had to click the right move between Psychic and Moonblast so that uh, the Venusaur or the Sneasel can't take advantage. But now I am much more free to click Psychic because it knocks out the Venusaur, does a lot of damage to the Vaporeon, knock, does a lot of damage to the uh, Regilecki, uh, and it may not do anything to the Sneasel, but at least it... Uh, Tassa to come in on the rocks, which is kind of the key here. Uh, so the Regilecki is the one that decides to come in. Pretty uh, pretty crazy move, and it does not work out for my opponent. The Psychic is able to knock out Regilecki. 
Um, but of course that is a free switch into Sneasel, but that is 25% from rocks. Uh, so that is whittling this thing down, which is exactly what I want to see. I decide to go back into Tyranitar, maybe he goes for a knockoff, maybe not. Goes for a triple axel, uh, and two of those are definitely going to knock me out. But hey, there's a chance that he's going to miss this one, right? It's a small chance. But no, does not miss. <laughs> Uh, but what that does do for me is now that uh, I have a free switch in, I can get Gardevoir back in, and there's no reason not to just click Moonblast this time, because it knocks out this, it does even more damage than Psychic to the Vaporeon, and it still does damage to the Venusaur, plus Sand damage, plus Stealth Rock damage, all that good stuff. So, Vaporeon comes on the, on the rocks, I'm doing a good chunk with Moonblast, uh, it's basically forced to go for Wish here, so I could just stay in and click Moonblast again, but I decided to just make the ballsy play and go into Dracovish on the Wish. Uh, and so here, my thinking was either Protect, and I'll try again later, or uh, I click Outrage and KO this thing, and then uh, like forced to go Sneasel, and then I sack Zapdos, uh, and then go back into Gardevoir again from there, something like that. Uh, but basically, if he didn't click Protect here and or <laughs> uh, got paralyzed, then I just KO this thing, uh, which is pretty cool. So, And the Wish goes nowhere, which is another side effect, but uh, does get the Protect there as I click Outrage. Uh, gets back to full HP as the Sandstorm ends as well. So uh, now it's not a very good position for this, so I decided to go back into Gardevoir, Trace the Water Absorb. Oh yeah, if you didn't know, if you... Uh, outrage on the protect you don't get locked into the next turn of outrage so that's pretty key there um, tank the scald get back to full health uh, and I have no reason not to just click moonblast now does a good chunk there to the Vaporeon gets paralyzed pretty unfortunate for the Vaporeon uh, could have wished there or something but uh, is forced out into the Venusaur and since I am going for moonblast uh, but it still does 25% plus rocks, plus I get a special attack drop, so Gardevoir, sitting pretty. I decide to just sack Zapdos at this point, because what do I need Zapdos for? I'll, all I need is a free switch into Dracovish. Uh, knockoff doesn't knock me out, which is actually pretty unfortunate for my opponent, as I just go for a Hurricane. I miss, unfortunately, but uh, since he knocked off my Heavy Duty Boots, he knows that I can switch out, switch up my moves and go for a electric move so he does not want to stay in here since this is the only thing that can still you know take a vicious rend from dracovish so the great thing here is that i can just click i i and i was trying to basically just sack my zapdos but what i can do now is just volt switch and get a free switch into my dracovish and then i still have this as a sack later for the sneasel which is pretty sweet um so venusaur comes in takes stealth rock damage takes Volt Switch damage, it's not looking good. And of course, Dracovish just gets to come in here. There's nothing stopping him now. Outrage, boom, knock out the Venusaur. And then probably should have gone Sneasel here because that's the only thing that could have probably knocked me out. But between this, but, but with the Stealth Rock damage here, uh, it, that thing is definitely in range of an Outrage. So goodbye Vaporeon. And here I could just stay in and click it again. It would obviously knock out the Sneasel. I think I had a pretty good chance to live a Triple Axel. Or not a pretty good chance, but a chance to live it. But I was like, you know what? No. Dragovish needs to stay alive. I'm not risking it. So I sack Zapdos instead. Uh, and then, of course, I'm free to go into Gardevoir and just click Moonblast. So the other thing is, you know, my Dragovish was confused. So if I hit myself and then I'd get knocked out. And I don't want that to happen. I don't taking that risk. So Gardevoir gets the, the finish there. And Boston Weasels are victorious week one. So pretty exciting stuff. And uh, looking forward to week two. Boston Weasels are out for blood. Uh, trying to prove that Dracovish is uh, a Bane-worthy Pokemon. So <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Keep dreaming. Uh, goodbye.